Now, the spell of bad news from Italy continues with the country setting yet another single-day fatalities record. In the last 24 hours itself, almost 800 people have succumbed to the virus. This means that Italy's death toll is now higher than China and Iran combined. Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte announced a new set of lockdown measures. All non-essential factories and shops other than pharmacies and groceries have been asked to shut down. Conte said that this would slow down the country's productive engine, but not stop it completely. The Italian government is banking on the lockdown measures to slow the virus spread, but it hasn't worked so far. The country is breaching its daily infection count every consecutive day. The police have been finding people found outside without a legitimate cause, and grocery stores have resorted to letting people shop in batches. Now, Spain has reported a 32% rise in fatalities. More than 1,300 people have succumbed to the virus in Spain. Most of the fatalities have been people aged above 70. Just like in Italy, a top government official warned that the number of cases would continue to rise in the coming days. Spain has now deployed 2,800 soldiers to disinfect public places like railway stations and airports. Let's have a look at France. There were 112 new deaths overnight in France, bringing the tally to 562. Around 1,500 people in France are said to be in critical condition. The government has called in helicopters and drones to enforce the lockdown, and the army has been dispatched to the northeastern parts of the country. People are required to have a government-authorized document when they step out, failing which they will have to pay a fine of 135 euros. There were reports of sporadic violence in prisons, with inmates refusing to return to their cells after exercise routines.